Hello, I'm Karen. I'm the manager here at Sportlink, this amazing bricks and mortar running specialist shop in Tavum in Norfolk. I'm here to talk about the Topo Cyclone 2. Topo is one of our newest brands in store. I've got the Topo Atmos and I've also got the Topo Spectre. They're both in my shoe rotation and I really enjoy running in them. So I jumped at the chance to have a go in the Topo Cyclone. So this is it. Um, first impressions, it's extremely lightweight. Uh, I, I wear a ladies UK size six and a half and I put them on my scales and each shoe wears just a, a bare 167 grams, which is absolutely nothing on your feet. They've got a, a mesh upper, see-through mesh upper, um, again, to keep that weight down. It's a little bit see-through, so if you don't mind seeing your socks in your shoes, you'll be happy with that. Uh, the fit around the heel, I find, is really nice and snug. It really, it, even though there's not much, it's quite a soft heel counter. It still holds my foot in really nicely. It narrows a little bit towards the waist of the shoe, again, which keeps my foot nicely locked in. And then, of course, you've got Topo's natural shaped foot, foot box, which I think, for me personally, suits my running nicely. My feet can go where they want to go. It keeps them relaxed. I normally wear a pair of Topo's with a pair of toe socks. So again, I think the two, two products match each other perfectly. In the toe sock, my shoe, my, my feet are allowed to go where they want to go. My toes can spread out and they're allowed to spread out because they're in a foot shaped toe box. Um, in terms of the midsole, this is where it's all at. Uh, Topo use a P-Bax and it is the OG P-Bax. It's the original stuff, not a copy, and that's in the whole of the midsole. There's no plate because personally I don't think you need it. If I do that, you can see that there, there is a, a fair amount of toe spring on this shoe already. And with the, the P-Bax foam in there, you get a lot of response from the shoe. In terms of heel stack, you've got 28 millimeters on the back and you've got 23 millimeters on the front, which gives you a total heel drop of five millimeters, which again suits me fine. I'm used to running in shoes like Hoka, like Ultra, so I'm used to a shoe with a lower heel to toe drop. Uh, some people might find that it takes a little bit of time to transition to that if you're used to running with, in brands that are the higher one. But, you know, again, for me personally, I really like that. On the bottom, you've got Topo's rubber compound grip. It looks incredibly smooth, but trust me, it is sticky. I took this shoe out for a four mile just initial run just to see how it would go. And I was really surprised. I thought that with the lack of foam underneath here that I might kind of bottom out on the foam. But there was none of that at all. Um, I'm predominantly a heel striker and there was just enough under here to make it feel nice and cushioned, nice and kind of cradled, but also not too kind of unstable. But there's, there's no gusseted tongue on the topo, but they've got these little, you can just see them, they've got these little kind of loops either side of the tongue where the, the laces loose, loop through. And that holds the tongue absolutely rock solid. There's no slippage at all on there. So no need, again, get that weight down. No need for that extra little bit of fabric on the inside of the shoe. It's all done by those two little loops there. Keep the, le keep, keep the tongue locked down. No slippage. Save a few more grams on, on the shoe. Summing up, I suppose the shoe won't suit everybody because of the, the shape of the foot box and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I think somebody who's looking for a fast shoe, a PB shoe without a plate, I don't think you can go wrong with this shoe. I probably wouldn't want to use it any further than, say, a half marathon. Um, probably lighter runners will probably get, be able to get a marathon out of it. But definitely, if I'm looking for a PB in a 5K or a 10K race, this shoe is going to be definitely at the top of my list to, to consider. If you think you're wanting to try this, it is available at Sportlink and online at sportlink.co.uk. Remember to put Sportlink 10 in your discount code to get 10% off your purchase. Better still, come and see us in store. Doors are always open and we're always, we always love our customers to drop by just to say hello. And remember, if you like this, please like and subscribe to Sportlink TV for more great content. See you later.